the unholy bride of Satan, stay away from women like this. In the Bible, women are portrayed as either godly or ungodly. Godly women like those in Proverbs 31, Esther, Ruth, and Hannah are prayerful, bold, wise, and God-fearing. Their worth is esteemed above rubies and pearls. Ungodly women, however, are depicted as having a negative influence. Proverbs warns against such women, describing them as foolish, noisy, contentious, and lacking discretion. Three notable ungodly women in the Bible are Herodias, Delilah, and Jezebel. Herodias. Herodias was married to Herod Antipas, but their union was condemned by John the Baptist as adulterous. Angered by John's rebukes, Herodias manipulated her daughter to ask for John's head. Herodias's bitterness and manipulative nature exemplify how an ungodly woman can use her influence destructively. Delilah. Delilah was involved with Samson, a man gifted with supernatural strength. The Philistines bribed her to discover the secret of his strength. Despite Samson's position as a judge of Israel, he fell for Delilah's deceit. She manipulated him into revealing his secret, leading to his downfall. Delilah's story illustrates how the devil can use someone's weaknesses to bring about their destruction. Jezebel Jezebel was married to King Ahab and wielded significant control over him and Israel's religious practices. She worshipped false gods, killed prophets of the God of Israel, and used her power for personal gain. Jezebel's most notorious traits were her manipulative and controlling nature. Her actions were driven by a desire for power and fear, making her a quintessential example of an ungodly woman. Proverbs 31 30 emphasizes that true beauty and grace come from a woman who fears the Lord. A godly woman worships, obeys, serves, and trusts in God with reverence. Influence is powerful, and the Bible showcases how it can be used for both good and evil. The Proverbs 31 woman is a model of virtue, capability, and strength, described in Proverbs 31, 10, 31. Let's explore how to embody these qualities. Virtuous and capable. Verse 10 describes her as more precious than rubies and already referred to as a wife. Proverbs 18.22 supports this by saying, He who finds a wife finds a good thing. This means you don't become a wife through marriage. You are already a wife before marriage due to your virtuous qualities. To be virtuous, uphold high moral standards, and pray for strength and guidance. Trustworthy and reliable. Verses 11, 12 highlight her trustworthiness, enriching her husband's life. Are you honest, truthful, and reliable? Practice these qualities intentionally, becoming an asset rather than a liability. Hardworking and energetic. Verses 13, 17, and 27 emphasize her diligence and hard work. She isn't lazy and knows what needs to be done. Verses 14, 19, 22, and 24 show her resourcefulness. She cleverly overcomes challenges and makes the most of her opportunities. Use your time wisely, avoid distractions, and ensure your activities bring value. Generous and kind verse 20 illustrates her generosity, extending a helping hand to the poor. Be willing to help others without judgment, showing great compassion and kindness. Planner and Provider Verse 21 highlights her planning skills, ensuring her household is prepared for winter. Effective planning prevents your life and family from being left to chance. God-fearing verse 30 states, Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. A virtuous woman values and relies on God, seeking His guidance in all she does.